Hi everyone. Today I have a DIY project to share with you. Um, I know that we're all big fans of Shoshin and Cowboy Magic and every other um, like mane and tail conditioner product that's out on the market today. But of course it's really expensive. So basically it is a mixture of a whole bunch of cheap products that you can find at your local Walmart, your local grocery store, just anywhere. And um, it does really well when you spray it in their mane and tail and it helps it grow and it's really cheap. It's really easy and I'm just going to share with you how you go about making it. The four ingredients that you're going to need to make this do-it-yourself mane and tail conditioning spray is mane and tail conditioner. Uh, make sure it's the conditioner, not the shampoo. Um, this is really going to add moisture to the mane and tail. Um, and you can get probably like four or five or six batches out of the big bottle. So um, that's just what I chose to buy. You're going to need baby oil. Um, this is just the Walmart brand. Um, I chose the one with aloe vera and vitamin E. It's also hyperallergenic. Um, but you can pretty much choose any baby oil that you can find. I know this is the knockoff of Johnson's baby oil, but whatever you'd like to use. You're going to need kids detangling spray. Um, make sure that it's tear free. This just makes sure that if it gets in your horse's eyes, that it's not going to irritate them. Um, you really shouldn't be aiming this at your horse's eyes anyway, but, um, just in case. And this one, I think I picked up for like 88 cents at my local Walmart. And the last ingredient you're going to need is water. Um, and quite a lot of it, because this is actually going to make up a bulk of the mixture. Um, and I like to use warm water, but you can use cold water, hose water, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just use water for my tap. And um, it doesn't have to be warm, but because I actually normally make this mixture in my kitchen or in my bathroom, because I'm making this in a video, I just decided to put it in a picture to make it easier to demonstrate how much water to put in. So once you have all of your ingredients together, we can go ahead and get started. So once you've assembled all of your products, you're just going to take your spray bottle. And um, I actually cleaned this out before I started filming because it was pretty gross. And I use it on a daily basis, but I cleaned it out. So the first step is to, um, once your spray bottle is clean, you're going to take your conditioner and you're going to put in this, I mean, all of these are rough measurements. You don't have to like take out any measuring instruments whatsoever. But um, in this, I'm going to put about half an inch conditioner at the bottom. So you can get a funnel if you want. I just kind of wing it. But I'm going to put a piece of thinner. I'm not leaving close enough. what kind of crazy but it's about right to there. that's about as much as you want in there you don't want to do too much or it's going to clog your sprayer then you're going to take your kids detangling spray and you're going to pour i would say about three or four tablespoons worth, but again, this is just eyeballing. You're not going to put nearly as much of this as you put the conditioner in it, but you're going to want to put enough that it actually works because the reason we're putting this in is so that when you spray it on your horse's mane, when it's not braided, you can easily brush it out and get a new tangle. Don't spill it anywhere. Blah, blah, blah. And it's a good, like, quarter of an inch on top of the conditioner. And the last thing we're going to add is the baby oil. And this really, um, the conditioner adds the moisture and the baby oil works to hold the moisture in. You want to be very sparing with this because if you add too much, your horse's mane is going to become an oily mess. And I'm speaking from experience. Get this open, maybe. And there is a tab and there's just a tiny hole in the top and I leave this on to make sure I don't put too much in here, but we're going to add, I would say, 
approximately that. Once you have all of your other ingredients added, now it's time to add the water. I'm really hoping that these spills everywhere. But the ingredients literally are making up about an inch to an inch and a half of this bottle, and the rest is going to be water. So, add the water. Mine's just a little warm. It's not hot or anything, but that's going to really help when it comes to mixing it. It looks kind of gross because the conditioner is all clumped up and floating everywhere, but it's going to grow your fat. Now the last step is to just mix it up. I sometimes just will put my hand over the top and shake it around and make sure that your hand is on there good so that nothing comes flying out. It smells really good. We're pretty well mixed together and it's this like dull yellow color um but then you're pretty much ready to use this on your horse and what i like to use this for or how i use this is i will give my horse a bath and then i will spray it in his mane and tail and i will braid it and i will use pretty small braids um so he's a quarter horse so he has a pretty short neck but i would put about like eight nine or ten braids sometimes 12 braids in his mane and I'd make them pretty small. Like I would only take about inch to sections of his hair and braid it. Um, and then every day when I would get him out to ride him, I would spray this over the braids and it would seep into the braids and help to condition his mane. This just really works and I highly recommend it. Um, give it a try. I mean, it can't, it doesn't really cost that much money. It's so much cheaper than buying bottles of MTG and, uh, Cowboy Magic and Shoshin, and I'm not at all discrediting those brands. They work amazing. I've used them myself, but being a college student, I can't afford to buy them all the time. This is a great way to continue to condition your horse's mane and tail, but to uh, save your wallet as well. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or message me. And besides that, I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, no, I am actually recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? I don't know. <laughs> Did you get my... Like, yeah, so I like Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is such a bad idea. I know I should have filmed this on myself. <laughs> <laughs> because everything I own... Last and final ingredient... I can, I can speak English. You're going to want to take your conditioner that just exploded everywhere. <sighs> <laughs> 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 <laughs>